afternoon. If I could have your attention, please. Good afternoon, Mountaineers. Thank you, Dodge. You can clap. <laughs> Good afternoon, and welcome to Touchdown Terrace. Thanks very much for coming out. I want to particularly thank the student athletes who are on campus this summer for coming out. I'll keep my remarks very brief because we have a very special uh, guest here, and I want to make sure he has plenty of time to share thoughts with you. Uh, but I want to thank you for coming out this afternoon. It's obviously a, a great day, a historic day for not just West Virginia University, but also, I think, for our state. And the fact that, that we have so many folks who uh, came out today, I think, is a, is a great sign. Uh, this is a day that means a lot to all the administrators here, to all the student athletes, to all of our coaches. We're embarking on a big adventure and we're gonna have a lot of fun doing it. And I feel very comfortable uh, that as we raise the bar for all athletic programs at our university that uh, we will be able to compete and to compete very well, right? Great student athletes, we got great coaches. I sense a real palpable level of excitement around uh, not just Morgantown but around the entire state. So we're delighted that you all have come out today. Uh, we're very excited about this Big 12 adventure. Understand student athletes and coaches, you've got administrators starting with the, our president Jim Clements all the way on down that will support you every step of the way because what you do is so important not just for the university but for the state. We're the flagship. When we go out to play a football game, basketball game, baseball, wrestling match, whatever it would be, we carry West Virginia on our chest. And that's a very important responsibility. And we want to make sure that we do everything we can to give you all the tools in order to be successful in a very, very tough conference, the Big 12. So uh, we're delighted that you're here. With that, I will introduce the man who helped guide us into the new conference, your school president, my school president, Jim Clemens. Jim. All right. Thank you. How about a round of applause for the best AD in the country? We are incredibly lucky to have Oliver here, but you know what? Before I really say anything, I'll also keep my remarks fairly brief. I want to ask our Mountaineer to come up and get everybody fired up. Jonathan, you come on up. Woo! Today is a celebration. This is a big, big day for the institution. As Tony Caridi would say, it is a great day to be a Mountaineer. I want to start uh, just by telling you I'm thrilled that we have so many student athletes here. And that is really ultimately what it comes down to. I'm thrilled that you are here for this celebration. It is your hard work, your dedication, your commitment to just not athletics, but academics, really, but that commitment that brings us all together as Mountaineers. So I'm through, I didn't know how many would be here, Oliver, but to see this many is incredible. I do want to thank our commissioner, Bob Bowlesby, for being here today. This was his idea to come on out and spend time with us. He's here to help us celebrate this historic day. Can you uh, help me thank him by giving him a round of applause? Commissioner, I want you to know it's an honor to welcome you to Morgantown. I want to tell you a little bit about the great town and where in which we live. We're ranked nationally as one of the best college football towns in the country. We're ranked as one of the best college towns in the country. We're ranked as one of the top 50 smartest places to live. We're ranked as one of the best sports cities in America. And we're ranked as one of the best cities for jobs in the entire country. So I'm thrilled that you are here in Morgantown with us. I know you'll be back many times to watch us play and compete uh, on the field. Uh, and although he is not here, I do want to thank my friend Chuck Ninus uh, and all of the presidents uh, in the Big 12 for their work in getting us into the conference. I can tell you, I've chatted with the presidents multiple times. They are so thrilled to have us. They are welcoming us with open arms, passionate about having us, uh, and I, I feel for this university we're exactly in the right place and exactly where we should be. I want all of you to know the Big 12 is, is more than just an athletic conference. 
uh, athletic conference, it's top. You know, it, as good as you can get. But it's also a partnership with some other great universities like us. Research universities, flagship universities, land grant universities, and that's important. We're a partner in athletics, but we're also a partner in academics and in research and in service to our state. So I can tell you the Big 12 is thrilled to have us. They know we're a wonderful fit. I'm thrilled that all of you are representing West Virginia University and our great state. As uh, Coach Huggins, the great, great, greatest of all basketball coaches has often said, there is really something special about wearing a jersey that carries the name West Virginia on it. And all of you in this room make us proud. You know that when you put that shirt on, you represent all of us. And uh, we're thrilled that you do. I do want you to know that our athletic director, uh, as you know, he was a Mountaineer himself on the football field. He comes to us with a great tradition, understanding Mountaineer football and Mountaineer athletics. His connection to this institution, like our great basketball coach, is really strong because they were here and they chose to come back to be here with us when they could be at many, uh, many other places. I want you to know our Big 12 invitation reflects a lot of things, and I'll keep this pretty, pretty brief, but a long history of strength in athletics across all sports, a strong tradition of great fan support. There really is a Mountaineer Nation that follows us literally everywhere around the world. We have a state that stands behind our flagship university and our teams. We have donors who believe in you. They believe in us, and they support the university. We have a great academic tradition at this institution with the nationally and internationally respected programs. We have a great legacy of incredible graduates who you will follow to exemplify the quality of this uh, institution and the quality of the educational programs at WVU. And as you know, we have the best, most incredible athletes, uh, you in this room and those who came before you. Uh, we're really proud of you, and you're going to represent us as we move into the, into the Big 12. Now, you know this reputation's been built by many people over, over many, many decades, from coaches to athletes to faculty members to students to administrators. A lot of people, including our alums, have made this day happen. And you know, sports really all is about teamwork, right? This was a true team, unbelievable team effort to make this happen, and a lot of people worked really hard, and I thank them for building on a strong foundation and putting the passion and commitment in to make this happen. So as we enter this new era, student athletes, you're representing us. You're taking us into the Big 12, competing at the highest level uh, on the fields. And I know that you will do incredibly well. With the Big 12, we look forward to playing great teams, with great fan bases, with great traditions. And most of all, we look forward to seeing all of you on the fields. We'll be cheering for you every single game. But we also want you to excel in a classroom. You know I want to say that. Uh, as well as in your lives beyond uh, college. So as uh, the great Pat White once said, always once a Mountaineer, always a Mountaineer. You know, as you wear that flying WV, you wear it proudly. And I can tell you, Commissioner, we will make the Big 12 very proud to have West Virginia as a member. So I want to thank you all for being here for this celebration. Uh, I do want to introduce the Commissioner to you. Um, he's a great leader of a great conference. It is now my pleasure to introduce Commissioner Bob Bowlesby, who comes to us from, uh, to the conference from Stanford University, where he was athletic director since 2006. Prior to that, he was the AD at the University of Iowa for 15 years. He spent seven years at uh, Northern Iowa University. He's originally from Iowa, and he emerged as a national leader in collegiate sports. He's been the president of the NCAA Division I Athletics Director Association, chair of the NCAA Men's Basketball Committee, chair of the NCAA Management Council, chair of the NCAA Wrestling Committee, and served on many other NCAA athletic uh, committees, especially those related to student athletes. I can tell you he cares about the student athlete very, very much. In addition, he served on the U.S. Olympic Committee Board of Directors and the Commission of Oppor for Opportunities in Athletics. Clearly, Commissioner Bowlesby has a great understanding of college athletics and cares deeply about the student athlete. So we're extremely lucky at this time, as we enter the conference, he enters with us as the commissioner. So um, please help me welcome our wonderful new commissioner, Bob Bowlesby. And before I let him speak, Oliver and I have a couple gifts for him. To make it official, WBU hat with our new logo, Commissioner. And a new shirt with a big 12. Ah, All right, Commissioner, great to have you. How's it look? 
Looks <laughs> good. I might as well take advantage of this because this is the last time I can show any partisanship for anybody. So I, uh, I've been on campus for 35 years and uh, have always had a dog in the fight. So I don't know how that, quite how this is going to be showing up at the stadium on the uh, weekend and having to be kind of neutral. Uh, you know, I, I always kind of like going to the going to the arena or going to the stadium and saying, you know, I got I got my guys or got my gals and, and you bring yours and we'll just see how this is going to work out. And fortunately, we had Andrew Luck with us and, and he uh, he kind of he kind of did a pretty good job for Stanford these last few years. So I've kind of gotten spoiled by being able to have uh, an outstanding young man like him around and, and uh, you're lucky to have his his dad and family here they uh, they love this place and, and love what you guys stand for and uh, I know that uh, the move into the Big 12 is uh, exhilarating for everybody that's involved now I also know that you're uh, and I'm reminded by uh, seeing uh, these football players right in front of me uh, I wasn't very hungry when I got here, but I hope most of you got through the line before these guys got through there. Because, uh, that's, uh, I wouldn't have wanted to get between them and the baked beans. It looked like there was some damage being done. But uh, we, we are very excited to have TCU and West Virginia uh, joining this league. Uh, it is a, we have a long tradition. Uh, I saw one of the statistics up on the, on the scoreboard over your shoulders that uh, we, over the last 16 years, we've had five Heisman Trophy winners in the, in the conference, more than any other league in the country. Uh, we've had uh, more all academic All-Americans in addition to uh, competitive All-Americans than any other conference. Uh, you're joining a very rich heritage, um, and you bring your own rich heritage along with it. Uh, this is a special place. Uh, I, I measure that more in one way than any, any other way. And that is that the very best people that ever came through here want to come back here. I don't think there's a better testimony uh, to what a great place West Virginia is than the fact that Oliver Luck and Bob Huggins and I'm sure lots of others uh, have decided that this is where they want to spend their career when they have lots of other options. Likewise, every one of you student athletes had other options as well. Uh, you. We're competing against a, a group of other institutions last year that's going to be very different than the ones you're competing against this year. There's something really exciting about new venues, about looking out here and seeing Oklahoma or Texas or Kansas State uh, coming to play football in Morgantown. Uh, the same will be true in every sport that you sponsor. It's going to be a lot of fun, especially these first two years when you make the first road trip out and they make their first trip in here. Um, and as was mentioned, this is an alliance um, that is built on stability and strength. And the reason that it is, is that it's not just athletics. It's about all the elements of, of higher education and about how universities run. And we're excited for all of those reasons to have this university involved with the Big 12. Uh, this is a celebration for me. I, I went very slowly moving from campus uh, to a conference office. And Time will tell if I'm any good at it. Time will tell if it's the right fit. But I know already that the Big 12 is the right place for me to try that out. I know it because of what I've heard from the presidents. I know it from, especially from what I've heard from President Clemens. Uh, you have a leader in him uh, that is going to do terrific things in the, in the decades ahead for this university. Uh, his vision is, is truly extraordinary, and I, and I love having a president that's as actively engaged in making good decisions on behalf of the, uh, the, the, the institution, but also on behalf of the league that we represent. Um, collegiality is, is in long supply right now. Uh, the spirit of cooperation, now, you know, when it, when it comes to Saturday, we're going to all try and bloody each other's noses. There isn't any doubt about that. Now, you got, you got a good football team this fall, but make no mistake, those other eight teams of the Big 12, they're going to try and defend their territory. They aren't going to let you come in and take a win easy. And it's going to be the same way in every sport. Uh, they're going to welcome you, but uh, when you walk across that stripe, uh, they're going to get after it. So are you. And it's going to be fun. I, I am so looking forward to the first two years of this alignment. Uh, we've got a uh, we've got a lot of great initiatives going forward. 
uh, we're going to have the opportunity to uh, do what what Mr. Lux said, and that is put in place the resources and the tools that it takes uh, to, to have first-class academic programs and to travel in a first-class manner and to be able to compete at a truly national and even international level. And uh, a, a, a big part of that, uh, when I was an athletic director, I really thought that I had I had three jobs. I was I was there to kind of help to articulate the values of the organization. I was there to hire the, the best people to lead our programs, and I was there in large part to make sure that we were putting the resources in place that allowed you to go out and have the very best collegiate athletic experience you could. And if that led to a professional experience or if that led to an opportunity to go to an Olympic Games, that's a highly desirable byproduct of